At Steel Reef, we've always admired Grand Seiko, some of the most remarkable pieces of mechanical engineering ever made. Precise, poetic, and built with an obsession for detail. But there's one thing Grand Seiko owners have always wanted, micro-adjustment. The ability to fine-tune your bracelet for comfort without changing the look of the watch. It sounds simple. But for bracelets like Grand Seiko's, there's no space under the class for a mechanism to hide. So if owners wanted to keep their original bracelet, the only option was to build that mechanism inside the link itself. That's what we set out to do. And two years later, after more than a dozen design iterations, precision machining at extreme tolerances and navigating patents from industry giants, the journey has taken us far beyond what we ever expected. What began as a single problem to solve became the most ambitious piece of bracelet engineering we've ever undertaken. It pushed us into new materials, new tolerances and manufacturing processes far beyond traditional watchmaking. Along the way, we've filed two patents to protect what we've developed. Safeguarding years of mechanical innovation and ensuring SwiftLink remains a true world first. SwiftLink is the world's first invisible micro-adjustable bracelet link, a self-contained mechanical system that fits seamlessly into your existing bracelet, no modification, no compromise. For those who love design and detail, this is the story of how it was built. And if you're an Omega owner, you might want to stay until the end. The first SwiftLink prototype was beautifully simple. A push and pull friction system where a central pin held its position between miniature peaks and valleys in the steel. It worked, but after around 18 months of simulated wear, those peaks began to erode and the mechanism degraded. We spent several months experimenting with materials, hardened steels, titanium, and advanced surface treatments. Each improved durability, but none achieved the long-term performance we needed. By now, we knew friction alone wasn't enough. We needed a true spring-loaded force. This led to the torsion tube design, a tube spot welded through a microscopic hole in the link wall. As force was applied to the center, both ends twisted around a fixed midpoint, creating the spring effect we needed. It was ingenious, but the weld zone was impossibly small and even microscopic variations affected the feel between units. We needed more control and more stability. We explored a new way to generate spring force within the confined space of a bracelet link, the hinge plate. The metal plate used peaks and valleys like earlier designs, but this time they were mounted on a plate anchored to the central section and free to pivot around that point. It introduced a true spring effect and eliminated single point failures. For prototyping, it worked beautifully, but the geometry was too intricate to mass produce reliably and it too had to be shelved. Working with Swiss designer Sébastien Dordor, we rebuilt SwiftLink from the ground up. Two architectures emerged, the spring jaw with a separate moving jaw and square peak geometry and the monolithic SwiftLink, a single solid body with a central cutout forming a flexible spring blade. The monolithic design became the breakthrough, compact, elegant and exceptionally precise. Our first prototype performed exactly as intended, smooth, balanced and mechanically confident. To achieve that level of precision, every internal component is shaped using EDM wire cutting, a hair-thin electrified wire slicing through hardened steel using plasma discharge, removing metal molecule by molecule. It's the kind of precision rarely seen in watchmaking and it's happening inside a bracelet link smaller than your fingertip. To verify the results, we partnered with one of the UK's most advanced university manufacturing facilities. Their metrology lab measured our prototypes down to the micron, confirming that the monolithic SwiftLink performs exactly as designed, consistent, secure and built to endure. After more than two years and over a dozen design iterations, the mechanism is now proven. From here, we're refining adjustment force, selecting optimal materials for internal components and preparing for production. The hard part is behind us, 
SwiftLink is no longer a concept, it's a reality. SwiftLink has gone far beyond what we imagined. Since announcing the project, demand has been overwhelming and it hasn't slowed. Thousands of owners across multiple brands have asked for additional models and compatibility options. To everyone who secured a place in the first production run, thank you. You're not waiting in line. You're part of the reason this exists. Every pre-order directly funds the engineering, testing and tooling that brings SwiftLink to life. No major brand was ever going to tackle a problem this niche. That's why we built it ourselves, with you behind us. Those in the first batch hold a place in one of the most limited production runs we will ever make. Your Swift Link will ship well before the next wave begins. And when those first units leave our workshop, they'll mark a genuine milestone in modern watchmaking. We're also pleased to announce that Swift Link is coming to the Omega Aquaterra, a model that has never had micro adjustment on its earlier versions. Grand Seiko and Rolex remain top priorities as we expand the range. The engineering, patents and tolerances are complete. Now it's about scaling what we've built. SwiftLink is entering its final testing stage. Production is next and the finish line is in sight. To everyone who supported us, believed in us and stayed the course, thank you. You've helped create something even the biggest brands never dared to attempt. When you feel that first click, you'll understand exactly why it was worth the wait. 